Hi, Jeremy Nagel here with a Zoho video answering a question from Chris on the forums. He wants to know if it's possible to allow contacts to inherit the address of the account. So I guess the situation would be that you've got an account and when you add a new contact that it should automatically grab the address details from the account, these ones here. So if I do this, for example, right now, it doesn't get anything if I save it. It'll have a, a blank street and billing address. So what we can do is we can create a custom function that will automatically copy the details across from the account. To do that, we'll go set up automation workflow. We'll create a new workflow rule when the contact is created. Copy address from account, we'll go next, we will do based on a record action, based on create, we will make sure that there is an account name, is not empty, go next, we'll call a custom function, create a new one, write our own, what we'll do is copy address details from account and we will need to what we need to do is get the details from the account to start off with so we we'll want the account ID actually we've got them all here so we can just get the, the street address Oops. and we will get the building city so you just go like this, you get all of the address details you get the contact ID And then we'll go contact of g equals cm get record by id contacts contact id and then we'll do contact of dot put billing street or what do we have I think it's just street address make sure I've got the correct field name. So what have we got? We've got mailing street. So we do that. Mailing street, and we'll put the billing address in there. And then what we'll do is we will update that contact. I'm only going to do one field for the sake of this demonstration, but you can see how you would add other fields in there as well. You could do if you want to then do the billing state, you just do that. You add all of the possible address fields in there. And then let's say we want to if we want to do state as well, we'll do mailing state and we map across the field that we've got. And then what we do to update the contact is we do so dot crm dot update record we'll do contacts we'll do contact id dot string and we'll put the new updated contact map in there. So now if I use this contact as an example, I can put some garbage in here and then we will see that the address fields will be updated. There you go. So now I'll associate this custom function with the workflow. I'll save it and then when I go back to a contact, an account I should say, 
I'll put some dress details in there. Now, if I add a new contact, we will see that I open that contact. So this one here, we know it's this one, is the ID later, was created now, yep. So it has successfully copied over the street and the state, which is the only two fields that are mapped. Then if you wanted to map more, then you would modify the custom function to map other fields as well.